The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Baker Air Guns, High Pressure Pneumatics, Air Guns of Arizona, Patchworm Barrel Cleaner, and Stukey's Benches. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. What is going on, Air Gunners? Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, even if it's not your first time here, and leave a comment down below. If you've got a better option for stability than what I'm about to show you, leave it down below because I want to hear about it, and I need to hear about it so I can get you the best, most accurate results possible while I'm testing these guns. But Let's start this out by just showing you a little bit about where my journey began about 10 years ago with shooting and working on shooting accurately and consistently for this channel. So I'm going to walk over here and we'll be right back with you. Now my quest for accuracy started right here, just like a lot of you guys, on a portable, foldable table. One thing I really liked about that, nice and light, could take it wherever I wanted, but just look at how wobbly this thing is and it's not going to allow you to stay on target and hold target so i knew eventually after shooting for about a year on this that i needed to upgrade and welcome the red bench i have here this red bench is a welded bench with a plywood top has some nice recycled uh, metal legs on there that we welded on there nice but again looks solid but if you start moving it you can see it's wobbly not going to cut it again so then my journey continued and it continued all the way over here to what many of you guys probably see at your home range or have seen video or people shooting off of a nice wooden bench like this. But over time, as it sits in the weather, the wood shrinks, it constricts, and then also, yep, it's gonna need some repair too. And look, you still got the wobbles and you're gonna have to go ahead and tighten up the screws, constantly maintain it. And eventually, once it rots, you're gonna have to rebuild it. So my quest to find an accurate shooting platform continued until I found the one I'm about ready to show you today, and that is the Stukey Bench. So let's go ahead, not wait any for longer, and head over to the truck. I'm going to show you what I consider to be the best portable, probably one of the most stable benches you will ever use and well worth the investment. Let's go get it out of the truck. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the Stukey Bench. First and foremost, Royal Stukey, the owner of the company, yeah, he only makes about a hundred of these benches a year. So they are a little difficult to get a hold of and they're not cheap. But once I get done showing you this thing, you'll understand why they're not cheap and why you actually probably want to go out and get one of these benches for yourself if you are wanting the most out of your air guns. Let's get this thing out of here. Now the first thing that's coming right out of the trunk is the legs. These legs come with a nice carry handle on it, as well as a storage system that comes custom for these beautiful, very heavy duty legs. And let me tell you, they're probably about 25, maybe 30 pounds. I didn't weigh them, but they're definitely very, very substantial. And this carrier, well, it comes in handy when you want to put it in the back of the truck or take it out to the range. Or even if you're out camping, you just want to bring that bench along with you. So let's go ahead and we got the legs here. Let's go ahead and grab the top next. So let's take a look. We've got an all steel welded frame. We've got powder coating on here. And this is not your, you know, your typical powder coating that you get from overseas. This thing is solid. It's been running around in the back of my truck now for easily a month. And you don't really notice any wear, tear, scratches, or anything along those lines, which is great. Again, that's what I mean. You're going to get some return on your investment here. These legs are all positioned or angled outward to help with stability. And I'll get you a close-up of this as I assemble it. But there is a proprietary nut and bolt system here. And this is a free-floating nut. And that's going to allow you to get the leg on here and be very, very stable. If you look on here, you're gonna notice that there is a collar on this. This collar right here rests along the housing of the leg and that bolt, because it's free floating, allows you to get that super snug fit that prevents all the wobble. Now you're not gonna find any product that is this stable, this sturdy at your regular outdoor sporting goods store or online for that matter. And uh, you know, we'll take a look at some of those later. Show some pictures up here of what I found out when I went to go try to find some. But let's go ahead and get this assembled. Do 
you see that that handle right there came in handy again allowed me to lift this right up and get it in place so this is the shooting tool that you can also get from Stuky. This thing is rock solid. Now I'm gonna tell you, I've been using a rock and sock drumming stool, and that's what this is. This is actually a drumming stool. And I tried to talk him out of sending me an example of it just because I had one, I didn't need one, but he encouraged me to because he said this thing is just gonna give you that nth degree of stability, and it really does. First and foremost, look at the feet on this thing. These things are like elephant feet, and they just like give you a nice wide platform. So if you're on soft ground or anything, you're not going to sink into it as much. And then finally, down here, the cast iron base on this thing really allows you to get some nice stability. And the tight tolerances of the screw system also allows to keep it from not wobbling. Because when you're shooting accurately, well, you're only as accurate as your least stable part. You want everything to be rock solid, everything grounded to be tight, and this stool does that for you. Of course, this would not be an air gun related video if I didn't show you an air gun. And that is an air gun that I'm working on testing for you guys in an upcoming video. And that is the BRK Ghost in 22 high power. We'll get this thing out to 100 yards for you, don't you worry. But if I'm gonna be shooting this thing accurately, I needed an accurate, stable, and portable platform. Not to mention, I like to shoot other places in the range. So having this be portable was huge. Look at just how stable Look at just how stable this thing is. I'm gonna to try to shake it a little bit, put both my hands on here nice and solid. You're not seeing it move. I think the only thing that you're gonna get that would be more stable than this right here would be a concrete bench. And that certainly is not portable. Guys, if you're looking for a shooting bench that is gonna meet your needs, last you a lifetime, this is it, the Stuky shooting bench. Order it online if you happen to order one. Mention you saw it on the Airgun Advisor, guys. You won't meet a more wholesome family, a family-run business, than the guys that run Stooky Bench. Hey, until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, your bench stays solid, and we'll see you next time on the Airgun Advisor.